Hey YouTube, I just wanted to show you my hair. I just finished conditioning it. Well, first I washed it with the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Shampoo. And then I conditioned it with the um, this right here. Oh, look at that. The Black Vanilla Hair Smoothie. That's what I have in there now. So what I did was I put the conditioner in and then I braided it with the conditioner. Like I detangled it and then I braided it and put the conditioner in. And so now what I'm going to do is um, sit under a heating cap. I actually have the package. I just bought it. And this is it right here. A gold conditioning cap. It says self-heating, one size fits all. That's what I'm going to put on. And um, basically to give myself a deep condition. I'm going to sit under there for about a half an hour under the cap. And The Wizard of Oz is on one of my favorite movies. So I'm just going to watch The Wizard of Oz while it's on my head. Um, I'm going to set a timer for 30 minutes. When I hear the timer ring and then I'll wash it out. It'll already be detangled so I don't have to worry about um, trying to detangle it. Because I think that's... Um, I had to learn by trial and error, and thank goodness that I found some um, people on YouTube um, with natural hair who, um, by them doing a tutorial, they showed me what would be easier because I used to just wash it, condition it, and then try to detangle later, and sometimes that would kind of be a problem. So it's much easier for me to put the conditioner in, let it moisten and soften it up, and detangle it while the conditioner is in there. I should have probably taped while I was doing it but that's kind of difficult so I did it and um braided my hair in sections and so now I'm going to sit under the heating cap so um maybe I'll do a follow-up video so you could see excuse me you could see how my hair came out um after the um the the conditioner is removed Okay, well thanks again. Once again, this is Charisma, trying to help all you natural sisters with your hair. And I'm on the same journey as you, so um, see you soon. Bye. Well, I just washed it out, and I have my towel on, and I'll take it off so you can see. It's still braided because as you remember, I put the deep conditioner in and uh, detangled it and then braided it and then washed out, the, well, let, let it sit in. I sat under a cap for half an hour, let the deep condition penetrate through my hair and um, I just washed it out while the braids were in my hair. That way my hair is already tangled. And now I remember who I learned it from, Kimmy to right? I hope I got it right. If I got it wrong, please bless me. Um, excuse me, I mean, I am tired, so I'm sorry about that, but, um, yeah, the Wizard of Oz is over, the half an I actually left it in my hair longer than half an hour because I got into the movie and everything, but I'm so tired, I was gonna blow dry it to try to take the fast way out, but no, I don't wanna blow dry my hair, I'm gonna let it air dry, and I'm going to sleep because I have school in the morning, but this is how it looks. Hopefully you can see it. I know the lighting is not too good. I got my Michael in the background. Love you, Mike. <laughs> um, yeah. So I let it air dry, and I'll probably do a follow-up to let you guys see, like, um... Um, I'm tired. To let you guys see my style, whatever I decided to do with it. Okay, I hope you guys like it, and I hope I was able to help. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey YouTubers, it's Charisma, and you don't know how excited I am. I finally got my fro to look the way that I want it to look. Nice and fluffy and full. I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, um, okay. So Saturday, today is Tuesday. On Sat, no, was it Sunday? Yeah, today's Tuesday. On Sunday, I washed my hair with the Carol's Daughter. I, ha I bought a set. Uh, it was about $29 for the shampoo, the uh, conditioner, and uh, the butter. It's mixed with shea butter and some other stuff. It's a set. And it comes with a comb, too. So I washed it on Saturday, and I showed you the video. Uh, I washed it and I conditioned it and remember I condition I detangled it while I while I conditioned it and um, 
I braided it while the conditioner was still in my hair, which I showed you in the video. And uh, I watched The Wizard of Oz while it was in my hair. I left the conditioner on for about 30 minutes. More than 30 minutes because I got caught up into the movie. So, I um, washed the conditioner out with the braid still in my hair. So that I didn't have to worry about detangling after I washed out the conditioner. That's usually a problem for me. And being that I'm just now getting back into caring for my natural hair. Because remember I told you um, I was um, wearing ponytails and weaves. My hair was still natural. But I, I had like weave on um, while it was natural. Or I'd wear a ponytail you know, over my natural hair, so I wasn't wearing my real hair natural, so I really wasn't caring for it too well. I got too caught up in caring for the weave and the ponytails, so um, I lost my train of thought. Um, where was I going with this? Um, so no, I'm saying now that I'm, get, I'm getting back in the hang of um, doing my own hair, my natural real hair. So um, I'm so excited. My fro came out exactly the way I liked it, curly and bouncy. And it took some time. It's a lot of trial and error, and I'm still learning. But I did see a couple of people on YouTube talk about getting the flexi rods and stuff like that. I think I'm going to do that next time, and hopefully it'll have a more curlier look. I think I will do maybe the twist and then put the flexi rods and see how that comes out but for now what I did was after um, I let it air dry after I put the condition after I washed the conditioner out I let it air dry and then the next day which was Monday it still wasn't ready yet it was still wet and I had to go out um, I had to go to school so what I did was I just took the braids out um, I rebraided it again so that it can dry. Like I let it air out some, rebraided it again, let it dry. And then I just did a protective style. I did the French twist in the back. Um, and I'll show you that in another one of my videos. Um, and then what I did last night, Monday night, when I came back from school, was I, um, I got my water bottle. I got the Carol's Daughter, um, the butter. Maybe I should go get it um, to show you. One minute, one minute. Okay, this is the healthy hair butter from Carol's Daughter. Um, I used that. So I have my water bottle, the healthy hair butter, as well as olive oil. So I put that in my, I did it in sections. I cornrowed down, 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 down like that. After I like spritzed it with the water, then put the butter, and then put the oil, and then braided. Braided, 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 braided. And then, um, actually, I did th the three braids in the front. I actually coiled them after I braided them. I don't know why. The front is a little bit longer, so I wanted it to be tighter to match the rest. Well, yeah, something like that. So, um, yeah, so I tied it down with the satin scarf. And then this morning, I took it out. I, took, I just took out the braids. And um, at first I was like, I don't know, because it looks flat. Then I remembered seeing some of the girls on YouTube, like, fluff, after they take the braids out, they just put their head over and, like, fluff it out, fluff out the roots, trying not to, like, separate the ends so you don't get, like, that afro that you don't want. If you still want to keep, like, some of the definition in the waves or the curls or whatever. So that's what I did. So I started to see it fluff up, and I got so, 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 so happy. So, um, I don't usually know what to do with the front, like this bang right here. So, uh, I don't, sometimes I'll roll it over the other way, but I don't know. I don't like leaving my forehead exposed sometimes, I guess. So, I have the little swoop to the side. So, I'm still trying to work that out. So, bear with me. I'm still trying to find my way. It's a process, and as soon as you find out what works for you, and the right products that work for you, and the right styles, you're going to be okay. Don't get discouraged, because I did get discouraged at first, because I couldn't find products that could work, and I'm still searching for products that will provide enough moisture, so that my hair is not dry, and, and I have that like shiny look. I don't like like when my hair is dry and brittle. I don't like that look at all. I like it to be moist. I like it to look fluffy. I like the waves. I like the big, fluffy, nice, healthy look. 